The woman charged in the death of three people, including two Pennsylvania state troopers, was in court today. Our Kelly Rule was there and joins us live with the very latest on this case. Kelly. Good evening, Donna Jason. Biggest takeaway tonight is that the judge dismissed that third degree murder charges. Those three third degree murder charges, those were dismissed in the courtroom today. Jayanna Webb was also given bail. There was a bail hearing and a judge ruled that she will uh, be given $600,000 bail. She'll only have to pay 10% of that. Uh, so as her attorney just said in the last few moments when he spoke with us, it is likely that she will be heading home to Norristown to be with her family since they'll only have to pay uh, 10% of that $600,000 bail. Now, this comes after an unusually long preliminary hearing, seven hours of testimony, nine witnesses called by the Commonwealth. That's incredibly unusual for a preliminary hearing. Uh, the Commonwealth at this point uh, had to prove that there was malice in this case and that uh, Jayanna Webb uh, was malicious in what happened in this crash. And her attorney argues that what happened was nothing more than an accident. So just to recap a couple of the things that were said from those witnesses today, there were three crash witnesses. There was a responding Philadelphia police officer that testified, uh, two state troopers that were involved with the investigation, um, a state police lieutenant with accident reconstruction, a forensic toxicologist, and a trooper that investigated Webb's phone. That forensic tox toxicologist did testify that Webb had a BAC of 0.211%, that's two times the legal limit, and marijuana in her system. Uh, that state police lieutenant with accident reconstruction went through uh, the moments leading up to the crash. They did confirm that troopers Mack and Siska pulled Webb over 15 minutes before the deadly crash. They say at the moment that they pulled her over, she was going 95 miles per hour in a 55 mile per hour zone. Uh, in the moments leading up to that, they say at one point she was driving as fast as 113 miles per hour. Again, that traffic stop happened 15 minutes before the deadly crash. Uh, they testified that airbag technology had Webb traveling at 78 miles per hour at the time of the crash. Uh, we heard from a state police trooper that testified that Webb did admit that she was drinking, but that she only had one drink. Uh, and at that point, she did not know she killed anyone until she gave police her statement. So there's a lot to unpack here. But again, uh, a judge dismissed those third degree murder charges and she was given a bail. Well, much more at six o'clock. Oh, Kelly Rule, thank you very much.